Thank you. Love you, Bob. Hi, Mom. <laughs> How are you all? Good. Good. One more. What? Woo! Woo! Emma, I'm not as musical as these guys, but um, I've been listening to ACDC on my way up here. Anybody like that crap? <laughs> there you go, one person. <laughs> I just kind of noticed that over time, uh, ACDC is sounding more and more like an angry Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> like it just starts out like. <laughs> Gears, and I didn't because I wasn't as serious into the relationship as she was. She was just like, Bob, let's discuss beers. I was like, no, I want to watch TV. She was like, you want to you discuss beers with me right now? So I was like, fine, what are you afraid of? She's like, I'm afraid of the dog, and like, nobody's there to hug or hold or anybody to listen to me or to make sure that I'm okay. What are you afraid of? And the, I had to be honest, you know, I can't just lie, I was like, zombies, <laughs> they everywhere, no matter how far you run, they would get you, <laughs> they would smell you out, and she was, I could tell she was disappointed, she had that look, she was like, mm, I don't like you, and so I was trying to, I was trying to mingle, because that's what you have to do in relationships, so I was like, they're even scarier in the dark. <laughs> Uh, anywhere. <laughs> They're behind you. <laughs> so that didn't live very long. Um, I noticed more and more that people have gotten big on Pokemon. This uh, has nothing to do with dating, but uh, it does for some nerds. Why not? <laughs> uh, I've noticed in the show, if anybody's seen the show, it's um. It's basically this 11-year-old kid that's sent off on his own to catch these wild beasts. <laughs> and um, all they do, basically, Pokemon just say their name, nothing else. Like, they're able to talk, but they can only say their name. And what bugs me, what's always bugged me, is that these people have always assumed that they've been saying the same things over and over again. Like, they assume that they say that they want to battle. But what if they're hungry? <laughs> what if they want to sleep? So it's like, Nurgle Dirt. What's that? You want to fight in the arena? Nurgle Dirt. Nurgle Dirt. Nurgle. You, you want to go fight? You can do it. Nurgle. Nurgle. Nurgle Dirt. <laughs> and um, PETA was actually mad at this, the PETA. Um, they were kind of mad because they were showing that they were condensing these little creatures into tiny little balls so that they could fight them later. And I was thinking, that's not the worst thing that can happen, you know? The worst thing that I can imagine is that if maybe you skinned some of them. <laughs> this is my Pikachu hat. It's very shocking. It goes well with my Squirtle purse. <laughs> That's a thrill ride. <laughs> I hope you also like my Charmander shoes. They're very, they're very sweet. I like them. <laughs> I also, I, I used to do that in relationships. I used to talk about Pokemon because that was the only other topic I knew. <laughs> and um, I figured maybe it wasn't just like the way I acted. Maybe it was just the way I looked. Maybe it was just something that was on the outside that changed people. And I had a psychiatrist, basically a day ago, who um, he was saying that, no, Bob, you shouldn't judge that on how you look. I mean, it's, you can't judge a book by its cover. It's not okay. It's like, well, you wouldn't read your kid a bedtime story if it had pictures of naked women on the cover, would you? <laughs> Unless you were the coolest dad ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I love those stories, by the way. It's a shame you had to hide it from mom so long. She didn't. She never read those. She just heard the ones with the men on the cover. And I was like, oh, this is the last one that I have to do. So here I am. Thank you. This is the end. <laughs>